Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise in which we try to uh, solve pro problems involving uh, differentiation. And uh, it's uh, given that y is equal to, to x into 2x plus 15, show that uh, dy over dx is k into x plus 5 uh the square root of 2x plus 15 where k is a constant to be uh, found and secondly it says uh, hence find c and evaluate um the uh, it, it integrate uh, x plus 5 divided by the square root of 2x plus 15 within the limits of 5 and minus 3. okay and what I've done here is uh, you can do this problem either by implicit implicit differentiation or by or by the the product rule, and I think with the implicit implicit differentiation is so much straightforward and there is no chain well in this case anyway there is no chain rule involved. Okay, now for the for the product rule for instance, um, you have to start by or you could it depends on why it doesn't matter really where you start. You could write, you have to remember that the square root of 2x plus 15 can be written as 2x uh, plus 15, okay, 2x plus 15 raised to the power of 1 half. Now, that's got to be your starting point there. So that's 2 raised to the power of 1 half. So you have to remember that. And so now we can apply the, we can now apply the, uh, product rule. So we can differentiate either the x term or the term involving 2x plus 15. Sorry, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Okay, so if we start with 2x plus 15, now we've got a half there, so we write a half there to start with. Okay, now we then differentiate all of that. Okay, so um, so that becomes a half minus one will give you minus a half. So that becomes two x plus fifteen to the power of minus a half, which in effect is what the reciprocal of the square root of two x plus fifteen. Okay. Now don't forget that we now have to differentiate two x, and if we differentiate two x. You get two. Don't forget, we are still dealing with this one. So if you differentiate to x, you get two. Now we have to remember to bring down our x there. Plus, we now differentiate x, which is one, times the square root of two x plus fifteen. Two x plus fifteen there. 2x plus 15. Now don't forget that is 2x plus 15 divided by 1. So for these two terms, the numerator, if we say the numerator is 2x plus the square root of 2x plus 15, that's, that's 2x plus 15. And if we then um, Multiply the first term by 2x plus 15. Don't forget, oh, I forgot. These two is cancel out, by the way, so you're left with x. So if you multiply this term here, this term here, by 2x plus 15, we end up with x. Now, if you multiply this, if you multiply this term here, by the square root of 2x plus 15, we end up with 2x plus 15. Okay, so 2x plus 15 there. Okay, so now we end up with the square root of 2x plus 15. 2x plus 15 square root of, don't forget square root there. Now that becomes 3x. Plus 15 there. Oops, sorry, forgot. 
that should be 15 that should be 15 there that should be 15 there okay so if we then factorize the numerator in this case we end up with 3 into x plus 5 divided by the square root of 2x plus 15 in which case the k value k is 3 so our k is 3 that's the answer required okay right now to do the same problem using implicit differentiation um, I'm not sure it's that much longer than this one here but let's have a look now if we then copy this down y is equal to x into 2x plus 15 okay now if we take the square root of both sides sorry if we square both sides we end up with y squared is equal to x squared into 2x plus 15 because if we square the square root of 2x plus 15 you end up with 2x, 2x plus 15 so you end up with y squared is equal to 2x cubed but plus 15x squared when you open all the brackets yeah y squared is equal to 2x cubed plus 15x squared now if we differentiate both sides by implicit differentiation you end up with 2y dy is equal to 6x squared because when you differentiate 2x cubed you get 6x squared when you differentiate 15x squared you get 30x there so you end up with 6x squared plus 30x dx there okay so in effect what we did we differentiated y with respect to y and differentiating this bit with respect to differentiating the, uh, this, this bit here with respect to x there so if we now divide both sides by dx we end up with 2y dy over dx you've got 6x squared plus 30x if we then divide both sides by 2y you get a dy by dx is equal to 6x squared plus 30x over dy okay now notice so far they have no chain rule it's straightforward so far now we know that y is equal to x into 2x plus 15 that's y there so our next line then becomes that dy over dx is 6x squared plus 30x plus 2 times y we y is for the x into 2x plus 15. now we can now factorize the uh, numerator and that gives us uh, that dy is equal to 6x into x plus 5 divided by 2x into 2x plus 15. So the 2x, if we divide the numerator and the denominator by 2x, we end up with those cancelling out and we get 3 there. So dy by dx is 3 into x plus 5 divided by 2x plus 15. So we now have 3 there. So k is 3. And same as you go there. So it's up to you which method you use. I know. A bit, I was a bit deliberate with my uh, implicit differentiation, but you can see that there is the, the chance of making a mistake is reduced compared to what we did using the product rule. But whenever I see this sort of problem which involves um, a square root sign, I tend to, I mean, this is simple enough, I tend to use implicit differentiation so compare this to compare this uh, method and that method it's entirely up to you which one you choose so our k the value of k is three right now moving on for part two uh and it says hence find c and evaluate um x plus five divided by the square root of 2x plus 15 within limits of 5 and minus 3. Now, for part, the first part of part 2 uh, is more philosophical than actual mathematics. So really, uh, if we integrate this bit here, or that bit there, if we integrate that, we end up with what we started with. Because if we differentiate that, 
you get this one here and if you integrate that you should get that okay now the only problem is we have only x plus 5 divided by the square root of 2x plus 15 and not the 3 so in order to get back to the question this one here I need to multiply that by one third so I so that's one third there in order to get to this one here okay so now if we then integrate uh, 3 into x plus 5 we need to apply the multiplier of one third there because if we if we integrate 3 x into x plus 5 we get this form here so we need to multiply by one third there so that's that is our starting point there anyway so now we need to evaluate uh, the integration of x plus 5 into 2x plus 5 within the of 5 and minus 3. So for the first part, when x is 5, we end up with um, x is 5 there, and that's 2x, and that's plus 15. And when x is minus 3, we end up with minus 3 there, and that is 2 times minus 3, we have minus 6. Now, all of that okay, will give us uh, minus 9, and minus 9 minus 9, sorry, minus minus 9 will give us plus 9. So now we end up with, so all, sorry, start again, all of that, okay, all of that will give us minus 9. Okay, so minus minus 9 will give us plus 9. So now we end up with one third of 25 plus 9. And 25 plus 9 is 34, divide 34 by 3, and that is our answer of part 2. Now, I hope all that made some sense, and excuse my writing. And please, please subscribe and watch some of my videos. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.